In this tutorial, we'll look at the Match View tool, which is located in the Navigation Tools palette. This tool takes a 3D model and a background image and automatically matches your model to that background image. Let's see how this works. After your model is built in Form Z, select Display Options from the Display pull-down menu. In the Display Options palette that is invoked, we can go to the Background option and change that to be a flat image. Instead of the default, we'll click on the Load Image icon, and we have a standard open dialog that we can load any pixel image that's on our hard drive. Let's select this image that we have here, click the Open button, and now that is the image that will be used for the background. Notice that there's a Fit and Window option, and if I have that checked on, then you can make sure that the background image is going to fit your model window exactly. It should be noted that you should be in perspective view. If not, choose Perspective from the View's pull-down menu. We are now ready to have Form Z match our model view to the view of the background image. All we need to do is use the Match View tool to select points on the 3D model and link them to points on the 2D background image. Click on the Match View tool to make it active. First, click on the object by snapping to a point on the geometry. Then your second click will be clicked in the background image. A dotted connecting line is rubber banded between them. In the Tool Options palette, there's also a magnification window which lets you zoom in close. So if we re-click on that cross, you can see we can move it anywhere along the background image. And if we click on the bullet, then we can actually snap to different positions on our object. You need to select at least three pairs of points, but preferably four or more. So let's add a couple more pairs of points. I'll click on the top of the column, and then I'll click in the 2D image in the background. Let's add a fourth pair of points by clicking to the top of this column, and then I'll click on the 2D image in that area. To be able to reach the points you wish to link, you can use the view tools, any of the view tools, for an unobstructed view. Note that the model should be positioned by changing the view only. Do not use the Move tools to actually change the position of the model in 3D space. It should be noted that the Restart button will remove all the pair lines that you have added, which lets you start the match view process over again if needed. If two 3D points are selected that are collinear with a segment in the model, a red highlight line will be drawn between them. This is useful in matching the lines of your object to lines in the background image. These lines are also visible in the magnification window. Click the Solve button in Form Z. You will find a view that positions your 3D model points as closely as possible to the corresponding 2D target points on the background image. If the resulting view match is not satisfactory, then use the View tools to change the view and continue to drag pairs of points and or add more pairs of points. For example, we'll add a couple more pairs of points by lining up the back column with the background image. And we'll try the Solve button again. When the match is acceptable, simply click another tool to deselect the Match View tool and the matched view remains on the screen. It is recommended that you save this view in the Views palette so it can be recalled again later. To finish this project, we'll select Shaded Full for the final rendering display mode. In addition, we'll do a little bit of landscaping. We'll use the Place Content tool and we'll search the content libraries for some additional content, such as people or some trees. Select the tree that we want and place it into the scene. Observe that the matched view allows us to build and place additional objects in our scene at the proper locations with respect to the background image. And here's the final scene with our. 3D model matched with a background image. This concludes the Match View tutorial.